Hello, um, so the audio is going to be terrible for this intro, but hello, welcome to my next video. I thought this was a really cool place to, to start off a video. Um, Beats being in, in my kitchen uh, starting off, so as you can see behind me is lots of artwork by Warhol, Liechtenstein, uh, among others. So I'm actually in Cologne in the Ludwig Museum, which is incredible. Um, anyway, let's uh, dive into the video. I have no idea what the topic is going to be because I haven't written the, the topic for today, but uh, um, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm not allowed to take video in the gallery, which is totally understandable. Um, so let me just uh, complete this intro and say, uh, let's go and have a look at um, the video today. <laughs> Again, I have no idea what the content is today. Um, we'll see when I got, get around to, to posting the rest. Um, but I just wanted to, to share these amazing places that I, I'm visiting today. This is Cologne in Germany. Amazing architecture everywhere and amazing art. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into the video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe before the video even starts because this one is going to be awesome. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about, or I wanted to give an update on uh, two stocks that I've been tracking very closely over the last couple of weeks. Um, I've already done uh, a couple of videos on them very recently. Um, one about the Beyond Meat, uh, ticker symbol BYND, um, about their IPO very recently, um, and another video um, about Apple, um, AAPL. Um, Really just wanted to update because one is a great news story, one is a bad news story <laughs> and you know it's just a, a reminder of um, what we're actually investing in here is it's companies that um, have the potential to lose you money and have the potential um, for volatility in the market which could greatly affect your your outcome or your return so you know it's a, a great reminder let's be mindful of that at, at all times you know take these investments seriously, um, think about it, do your own research, don't invest on the back of my opinion or some other guys on YouTube's opinion, don't do that, invest in what your beliefs are and what you feel strongly um, in. So without further ado, let's look at the first one, uh, BYND, um, in one of the corners there's a, uh, a picture with the, the stock price. So since their IPO a couple of weeks ago, you know, it's just an amazing story. They, I think everyone um, underestimated the demand for um, alternative meat products, you know. I, um, you know, their, their stock prices um, increased nearly 100%. You know, they IPO'd at $46, as we covered in my previous video. Um, I think the next day they were up to sixty percent, uh, sixty dollars. Sorry, so they were they were doing really well, and and that story has just continued, and they've continued to take off, and they're now very close to hitting ninety dollars. You know, do the maths. That's you know they've they've doubled their their stock price in in that uh, couple of weeks. So you know, hundred percent gain, unbelievable, and and you know so. A credit to their company really they, they clearly have a product that is in high demand everyone wants to invest into them and and it's just really a, a buzz market isn't it the the vegan the you know the the uh, planet conscious movement of, of people wanting to move away from mass production and uh, damaging to the planet products is uh, a fantastic movement and it's clearly um, influencing investors as well so that's great to hear kudos to uh, Beyond Meat and hopefully that that story continues um, am I going to invest unfortunately not I've clearly missed the boat you know 
I said in my previous video, maybe I'm a little bit hesitant and maybe they were a better opportunity than I understood. And absolutely, they, they were absolutely a better um, investment than I understood. And I, I, uh, I misjudged that one, but that's okay. You know, there, there'll be more opportunities in the future. I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Um, so that is Beyond Meat. All right, just another very quick interruption even, not an introduction, a very quick interruption to say, check out my video from a couple of days ago where I buy some stocks live. Um, I thought it was actually really cool, a um, little bit nerve wracking actually, but go check it out. There's a card up in the corner at the moment um, and I buy some ABV stocks, some AB, ABBV ticker symbol. Um, and I think they're a great opportunity, uh, dividend growth stock. Um, so yeah, go check out that video. Apologies for the interruption. Let's get back to what we were doing. And uh, yeah, hope you, uh, hope you like the rest of the content and stick around to the end um, because that really helps. And if, uh, if you're enjoying my content, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a follow, hit the bell, you know, do the things, do all those things. And uh, thanks very much. Let's get back to what we were doing. On the flip side, there is Apple um, and as you know if you watched my video I posted uh, two days ago about me buying stocks if you look in the screenshot of, of, of my portfolio there you can see I had one share in Apple um, I did have uh, quite a few more shares in Apple in the past um, and luckily I took the d decision recently to sell those on when they were at their uh, when, when they had uh, recovered um, back up to the quite um, high price so I'm happy with that but I, the thing is with Apple um, I really like their company I really like their products I don't use them myself but I like the the future um, for Apple I think there's there's great potential in them and I just like to keep hold of one share I really should keep hold of probably five shares or ten shares just to make it more worthwhile um, but there's one one share left anyway so that that's okay and um so what's happened with apple recently so a couple of things really um the major thing in my opinion is the trade wars um the the tariffs on uh each um imports into the us from china is now 25 percent, and it was from 10 percent. and apple um, <clears throat> manufacture a lot of, um, of their products in China. They also um, buy a lot of, they have a lot of suppliers that are Chinese manufacturers. Um, and clearly this is um, worrying investors, you know, the, um, alongside the, the drop in iPhone sales, particularly in China as well, you know, alongside the trade war issues, it's just causing the, the stock price to to drop uh, and quite significantly as well. I mean, not that long ago, a couple of weeks ago, um, they were trading above the $210. I think they hit $211 at one point. Um, they're now trading at 180, sort of uh, high 180s. I think they went down to about 185 at one point. You know, that's a 15% drop which for a company that's a trillion dollar market cap or close to, not anymore, but they used to be, you know, um, but a, a very, very high market cap, com cap company, you know, 15% drop on that is a huge amount for Apple. It's just, you know, worrying times, times for them um, and they need to turn it around. They, they need to, to launch the next product. I mean, what, what will be their next product? I think the, the uh, self-driving cars strategy is a long way off. Um, you know, the next iPhone is clearly not getting as much attention as the previous model iPhones. Um, so what's next for Apple? Who knows? They, they need to launch something. They need to um, pull, a, pull a rabbit out of the hat, so to speak. So it's interesting to, to watch them. Um, and the re uh, actually, the reason, the reason I wanted to talk about Apple today was really to again ask that question um, would I invest in Apple now today so they're trading below $190 per share would I buy more shares at Apple right now today 
And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, and really, why, why is that? So <clears throat> um, the market is fearful of Apple at the moment because of the trade wars, um, because of the, you know, the, the tariffs, the import tariffs from China that has, is, is definitely going to affect their, their short term, um, you know, their short term numbers, let's say. It's going to affect everything they do and it's going to affect their short term numbers. Um, so that's a bad thing, right? So, you know, that's driving the stock price down and investors are a little bit scared. You know, there's, they're selling off. That's fine. This is the time to buy, you know, buy it on the way down. Don't buy it when everything's going perfect for them. Um, need to remember that they are Apple Corporation. They, they have um, very high quarterly revenues. Okay, revenues are starting to drop slightly, but they're still a huge company. They have a, a long-term strategy. They invest heavily in research and development, um, and they have a history of releasing products that are disruptive and that just generate them huge amounts of income. So, you know, I, I personally, I'm still confident that Apple are able to do that in the future. Maybe not at the same level as an iPhone, um, in the next sort of one, two, three years, you know, maybe we're going to have to suffer a little bit of a downturn for Apple. I can see um, the stock price returning to way above the $200 mark. And, you know, if they do come out with something um, new and disruptive, self drive cars, new fancy mind control computer phone, who knows? Whatever next revolution they come up with, um, that stock price will return to um, the, the growth that, that we expect and the gains that we expect from, from Apple. So um, I will definitely be buying some more stock um, in the next couple of days in Apple just to get above that pathetic and nearly meaningless one share left in my, my account. Um, so, I, you know, I want to top those up and, you know, I'm not a huge investor in Apple. I, I would probably stick around the, try and get it up to 10 shares, something like that, just, just to give it some, some meaning. Um, and yeah, that, that's my approach over, over the next few days. Um, as you know, I'm not into timing the market. I'm not a trader. I'm not buying now to sell next week. Um, so. I always split out my, my buying, even if I have the funds available to buy 10 in, in one go. Um, I, will, I will always, you know, break that into maybe 50% or even 25% purchases and spread it out over time um, to um, take advantage of cost averaging, just, just in case the price continues to go down, which it may, it may well do. Um, it has recovered a little bit um, yesterday, but, you know, that's the short term. It may again dip and back down so if it does i'll be buying more so there we have it beyond meat and, and apple as i said the opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of positive news and negative news and as i've done videos on them both very recently i just wanted to give a quick update um because i think they're quite interesting and yeah the, the kind of stock that you can look at each day and and it and it changes each day so um but yeah it's 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 definitely an interesting time for both of those companies and uh, best of luck to both of them. I've missed the boat on Beyond Meat, but, but that's okay. We have more opportunities in the future in, in other companies. So there we go. So that's it for today. Apologies if the audio is terrible again, but um, kind of working on the fly this week. Um, hope you found that uh, video interesting. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Look out for the next one, uh, probably hitting in a couple of days. So like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the things, do all the YouTube things. <laughs> My new catchphrase. All right, take care, bye.